You have Destiny Rise and the new mobile Destiny game. What every Destiny player is asking for, right? This is what this is what we were all asking for. Oh, it wasn't. Well, they made it. Here, Destiny Rising has been announced. A new free-to-play mobile game from NetEase license from Bungie. This First is so bad. I'm gonna have to roll one up. Set in an alternate timeline, post dark alternate age timeline, era, huh? close alpha in November. Six-player co-op strikes, PV, PVP modes, and a campaign on mobile. Dude, that sounds like a whole damn game. I haven't bought a new phone in damn near five years. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just going to play this on the details. iPad. What are you guys we talking about? Details. I need to know Get more. on an iPad oh and hit, hook up a controller. Lord. Oh, my God. Hold up. Destiny Rising hold official up. announcement. Wait a trailer. minute. Destiny Rise is developed and published by NetEase Games. The game Let and its cook. characters, items, events are under license of Bungie Inc. Instantly, with my mind coming out, like with all these games coming out now, with Off the Grid being the start of this, how many games are going to be on the web? And with Destiny being one of the best looter shooters to ever have existed. Could this mobile game be on the, the blockchain and all the loot that you get? My, I take back everything I said. If this game is all, if this is a mobile game that's on the blockchain, I'm going to get the biggest crypto boner you guys have ever seen. Looks good. At that core up there. Okay, gameplay looks clean for a mobile game. There's no way this is gameplay. There's no fucking way. <laughs> there is no way. This looks way too good <laughs> for a mobile game. Okay, so it's got like a it's okay, got like a on. different art style. Wait, that was oh, if, if that if that's how that's gonna look. I mean, that's not bad. Okay, so it's got like a it's got like a different art style. That's an entirely different super. Is it Nagi? Wait, hold on. Lore wise, does that even make sense? Did is it not? What's the time no. frame here? Lore wise, what's this is alternative reality. Here? So they said, fuck the lore. Right now? All of it. Reconning everything. Like this part. Look at this. Sing. Oh. That's hard, though. That's hard. I'm hard. Dude. <laughs> Once more, just imagine their blockchain and the gun, the masks, the shoulder pads, all of it you can own and trade with your friends. Dude. Hold up, hold up. That's what I'm saying, hold on. The guns. The guns are gonna be everything. I think that's gonna be like little boys. That's how they're gonna handle it. Like, when I was growing up, we had paintball guns and Nerf guns and whatnot, but imagine you can have like digital virtual guns that you can now trade with your friend, and that's gonna be like the trading cards of the future. Oh, turn me the fuck up, baby. We got a sexy speaker. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I know I was hating on this strong at the beginning, but now I've come full circle. I'm f so fucking here for this. If this is gonna be a mobile game, all my travel, this is all I'm gonna play. I'm, I'll, get, I'll delete COD Mobile. Fuck that. I'll play this every day of the week. Mobile game of Destiny before we got it in Destiny? Okay, listen. We need more information because this gameplay doesn't look... Hold on, hold on. Say so it's got a Doesn't look on bad. This. Doesn't right, look great. Alpha starts November the first. All right, it's right around the corner, guys. Like literally right around the corner. 
I'm looking at this. Okay, can, can I tell you what I expected when I heard Destiny was going to have a mobile version of it? And I was I, 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 like I was not very high on timeline it. Timeline on this. When I was told it was going to have a mobile version, I assumed it was going to be like Raid Shadow Legends, where you like pick your squad, you click a button, and it does its like AFK thing. And it I thought that too. And then some of us even speculated that it was going to be a, a tower defense game. Guys, if this is gameplay, like if this is for real gameplay, I don't know. Oh my God, there's a whole website and everything. Play Destiny Rising, epic sci-fi RPG shooter, pre-register now, first close alpha test starts can I, in November. Can I register? All right, hold on. Let's Before we go through the trailer in a second again, first mobile game in Destiny yeah, franchise. Yeah, yeah. Break this down again, for me, this Cross. This actually began years ago, before things got signed up with Sony and all that That's stuff. That's what I wonder. Like, How much of this is built on the chain? Who put down like the first, it was like $100 million or something like that. No? But it essentially was to keep the lights on for Bungie and essentially bridge that gap between Bungie going from Activision to Sony. Now, enter an era of heroes, legends, where familiar destiny faces meet intriguing new characters, each with a rich story, unique personality, and formidable skills. Experience a top tier sci-fi shooting action FPP or TPP. As you, hold, hold oh, on. First, first person, person or third player person? Or third person player? Interesting. Is that what I'm getting right? Is that, is that what the acronyms here stand for? Yep. First person perspective and third person. On a, on a mobile game? A first That's person, you're gonna normal. have first person. Cod Mobile games? does that. Destiny Cod Mobile does that now. Or third person. So you could swap between the two, or is it gonna be like our supers? When we go in our super, we're throwing into. No, third you should person. be able to swap. As you embark on a new adventure, in an at least I, I, since playing uh, Call of Duty Mobile, you can like select this. This is a thing that you can swap back and forth on. Alternate Destiny. This is an alternate Destiny timeline. Play as these unique characters to defend the future of Earth and reclaim humani humanity's future. All right, so let's take a look at some of these screenshots. Oh my God, dude. Are we getting waifus? Are we going to be rolling for characters, chat? Are we going to roll for five-star Ikoras? Dude, these are full-blown. And the characters, if we're just going off the blockchain, imagine you can collect those characters like trading cards and trade them with your friends. Holy shit. Strikes. Oh my God, it's, like, it's the EDZ there. Then there's an alternate timeline. Huckleberries in the game. A crossbow? It's a banging looking weapons, dude. It doesn't say gotcha at all. So it, it may not be gotcha then. I, I was just curious. I didn't know how the, the character acquisition was in the game. All right, so um, Destiny official announcement. So this is the official announcement here. So NetEase Games is thrilled to announce Destiny Rising, a new epic free-to-play mobile sci-fi RPG shooter featuring a variety of playable hero characters, a shared world, an abundance of game modes, all set within the rich tapestry of the Destiny universe. Developed and published by NetEase Games and officially licensed by Bungie, creators of the Destiny franchise, Destiny Rising, delivers a brand new adventure set in an alternate Destiny timeline, exploring a narrative in the post-Dark Age era. Right, so that would be like almost... Uh, Dark Age era would have been right before the uh, Golden Age. So it would have been, but like Warlords Golden Age, running up on that, pre-City Age. Now, featuring a diverse roster of characters, each with unique abilities and stories, Destiny Rising offers player dynamic and challenging single co-op and competitive multiplayer gameplay, including beloved game modes familiar to Destiny players and all new modes that introduce new ways to play Destiny. With Destiny Rising, NetEase Games is honored to partner with Bungie to deliver a Destiny caliber experience to mobile games, said Ethan Wayne, Senior Vice President of NetEase. Destiny is an incredible franchise with a passionate and dedicated global fan base. As huge fans ourselves, we are humbled and thrilled for the opportunity to bring gamers an action-packed RPG shooter set within the Destiny universe. For over a decade, we have built this universe to contain many unique and wonderful stories, and we're excited to see mobile gamers be able to experience this new take on Destiny Universe from the creative team at NetEase to Terry, creative lead at Bungie. NetEase Games has released an exclusive digital, digital direct community showcase on YouTube, offering an in-depth exploration of Destiny Rise's diverse gameplay featuring development team and sites. Access the digital direct via the following link. Additionally, players can now register. As a genesis of new possibilities in the Destiny Universe, Destiny Rising delves into an unseen era where burgeoning hope blooms once again after a terrifying collapse of civilization and the dangers of the resulting resulting dark age with the help of legendary iron lords humanity has broken free the shackles of tyranny and began to rally, rally together against the alien forces intent on its extinction amidst the chaos of this early age for the city a new generation of light bearers resurrected by mysterious entities known as ghosts set out to restore humanity's prominence and secure its future now destiny rising will feature the following an iconic sci-fi 
first person shooter coming to mobile and i am i have just never played a first person shooter on mobile outside of maybe like i played a third person for a little bit it was like a mech game it was, it was pretty good but i'm just not crazy about mobile experience iconic best in class yo i'm telling y'all if you guys haven't played a mobile game just for the fun of it go on your ipad if you have an ipad download call of duty mobile you have playstation controller and xbox controller bluetooth the controller to the your ipad and fucking fry some kids it is so much fun it's number one kill time on vacation or you guys travel go to the airport a lot great great time passer a sci-fi shooting action at your fingertips Choose between highly immersive first person view or a new fully third person action view and play with touchscreen or compatible controller precision. Now, legendary characters in battle enter an in error, error of heroes and legends where familiar faces from Destiny are joined by a host of new intriguing characters. Each character comes with a rich personal story, unique personality, formidable skills. Choose the right character and mastering their combat style will be your key to overcoming the challenging foes that stand in your way now there's gonna oh my god dynamic pve and pvp game modes dude they're gonna have pvp what choose from a wide array of game modes such as campaign missions and six-player co-op strikes that are iconic to the destiny franchise oh the pvp mode is super fascinating to me once more i like that's my favorite thing about destiny they feel like they just push that to the wayside so i stopped playing destiny that here oh my god this could actually be once more, I'm looking at this on the Web3, so I'm just purely looking at this of, like, being able to play some games with a gun, trade it on the marketplace, see what's hot, try to get it, sell it, earn some shit. Ooh! Along with all new and replayable PvE and PvP modes. Oh my god, dude. Imagine if this does get PC access. Can you imagine the farming? Massive keyboard players would literally farm mobile players nonstop. Yeah, and this one right here, though, six-player co-op strikes. Tell me! Please, for the love of God, tell me how can the servers handle on mobile devices six-player anything, much less, much less six-player strikes. So these are going to be like mini raids. This is going to be the frustrating thing is like looking at some of these games now that have just shitty optimization. It's like, how could we have AAA games that have millions, if not billions of dollars going into them and the optimization is ass, but yet on mobile games, you can have squad parties and the servers are fine. Everything's running smooth. Really, I, I know it's kind of a, not a good thing to say, but mobile gaming is underrated in terms of what you can actually get out of your iPhone or, or, or iPad or phone now. Mobile gaming is not the same as what it was in 2008 or 2012. It is really good. If this can be played on- And I know people are gonna clown me and say, what about Apex Mobile or uh, you know, Call of Duty Warzone Mobile? Great example of studios with a lot of resources that use those resources and talent inefficiently. On PC, this is what I'll be doing. Dude, we talked about this the other day. Y'all said Blue Stacks allows you to play mobile games on PC. Farlight 84, too. How long does it take for something like that to go through? Join Far Farlight 84 is a, was a great battle royale. It was fun. I played at the inception of Kick when I was streaming on Kick. Um, it was a game you could play on your iPad or you can go and play on the PC. I wonder if Destiny Rising is going to do that. And playing on a controller once more is definitely the way to go. I can't imagine playing with my thumbs. Join the action with your teammates. Embark on a thrilling online multiplayer action along with your fellow players. Build strong clans. Experience fun and casual party games. Game modes. Customize shared spaces and more. What? Customize shared spaces? Join with your friends to find off invading enemies or challenge them to test your skill. I swear to God, if this mobile version of Destiny ends up having more features than actual Destiny, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. Explore Earth after the collapse. Journey through a world fighting back against the darkness from the sanctuary of Haven, a refuge for the light bearers and survivors to the icy ancient metro of Jiangxi and the arid expanse of the Red Sea Rift. Traverse diverse sci-fi biomes and uncover hidden stories and adventures in the distant future Earth. Search for the seeds of hope that will shape the future of human civilization in an entirely new Destiny narrative. Dude, this seems like a full-blown game can't just be on mobile man this thing has got to come to pc too dude powerful exotic weapons i can oh, definitely see it okay being so these are all exotic play countless powerful exotic weapons are available to customize according to your combat style this exotic looks familiar isn't this kind of already in the game now explore different weapons like monte carlo combinations defeat enemies with different game mechanics and become the next master of arms all right Let's go look at this video, guys. All right, let's just take a look at this. This is a developer preview. What is what, Destiny Rising? Yeah, what is it? Hello, I'm Jack Wu Chen, Wang Yi Yoshi Xia. Definitely 
going to be on the blockchain or some type of pay to win aspect here. I'm Jacob Chen, the producer of Destiny Rising here at NetEase Games. Destiny is an outstanding global brand that we respect deeply. And our team is filled with dedicated fans of this incredible franchise. We are constantly amazed by the extensive community it has catered and are honored to have this opportunity to introduce a brand new Destiny experience to you all. Our team has been tirelessly working to provide you with a great gaming experience. We hope to continuously explore and clash new ideas to bring fresh, exciting content to the game. Without further ado, here's Destiny Rising. Hey everyone, we here at Bungie are so excited that Nevis has invited us to join them as they announce their brand new mobile game set in an alternate Destiny universe. Now for the past few years, NetEase has been working hard and it has been our honor to support them in building a high quality and authentic Destiny experience and on a brand new platform. Destiny Rising is a new take on Destiny, set in an alternate universe with its own timeline, but true to the core tenets and identity of Destiny. Our partnership team at Bungie has worked to support NetEase in designing Rising to be a game that should be perfect for veterans of the franchise and also appeal to a whole new audience that has yet to experience the world of Destiny. We can't wait for Nettie's to show you what they've been working on, and we look forward to playing Destiny hey, Rising show me right now. beside all of you. I want to see it. Can we see it now? Can we see more of it now? Can we see... Wait, what are you, are you talking about? The game or her... Actual gameplay of it now. Oh, gameplay. Got it, got it, got it, got it. My bad, Is cross, this the stranger's timeline? I don't, I don't know. I thought you were talking yeah, about something else. Yeah, me Destiny too. Why not? Rising Fuck it. Is a brand new oh, the game. to play mobile epic sci-fi RPG shooter game that sets in an alternate Destiny timeline. How old is this kid? How old is this kid? I need to see a birth certificate. It embarks on an epic adventure rooted in the aftermath of a fateful alien invasion where humanity struggles to rise from the ashes of destruction. Imagine an unexplored era of destiny before we had the tower for the emergence of guardians. As huge fans of destiny ourselves. Also, birth certificate, please. <laughs> We're very I'm just kidding. Can I just say, so I've like... been asking for a prequel version, like the warlord prequel version of destiny for years, even if it was this own standalone game. I wasn't necessarily asking for it on mobile, but it is a timeline I've been asking for for to Bungie for their amazing support, granting us the creative freedom to develop and nurture our own vision. We want to capture and depict a specific time where the reins are in the hands of the players to experience, okay. to explore, to define. Well, that's gameplay? This. Hold on. Okay, that's yep, yep, straight yep, up yep, gameplay yep. right here. Thank Hold you. on, this is straight up gameplay. Pre-alpha in-game footage. Where the rain so this is pre-alpha, so the textures are probably going to get a little better, the colors, the lighting, and all of that. But already... Back bling. This is definitely three different character These models. Are in the hands of the players. Saw somebody up there at the flame sword. To experience, to okay, explore. Playing in to third They're person. definitely playing in third this person. This is where the stage is set. In terms Look, of time <laughs> and age, what we want you to picture. Yo, so that dude stream deck is insane. Age era is epic legends in the making. A fantastic world to explore and tons of mysteries and opportunities. And of course. So this would be like a character that you can unlock? Of course, ghosts, light bearers, iron lords. Were Already, Concord, you fumbled your fucking bag. These are cool looking characters, baby. Fucking right. Lords, all the narrative elements you would expect from an age before the last city. It's an age that's never been explored, and it's super exciting. With so much room for imagination, it was. A I like seeing the ghost shells on his desk, even though it's blurred out. I could see. Real recognize real. Inspiration for a team. This is going to be a whole new Destiny experience. We want to focus on characters, people, heroes, and legends because that's the best way to actually express the chaos of this period. Every. Yo, imagine when you like unlock a pack and that's the character you get and you're like, yo, what did I get here? And you get the character, that's the intro you get to it. 
oh, and then you get ownership of it. Like, let's say it just shows like one out of one hundred and fifty thousand. You you have one of one hundred and fifty thousand of this character that you can play in this game. You and somebody else wants it. You could put that on a marketplace and trade it with somebody who has maybe a card that you want or a character that you want per se, or ideally, cold hard cash. Playable character is a fleshed out person That's the with a depth of the personality. Same. They have their own tenets and pursuit. Definitely not your conventional hero type. We want to tell more than just epic adventures, but also these side stories, things that as an adventurer you'd pick up on the streets, in the alleys or taverns, things like myth. This is already just gameplay and whatnot, and just kind of hold on. I want to go back and look at this real quick. We want to tell more than just epic adventures, but also these side stories. So this is the is this a cutscene? Or is this you literally just walking down in third person and you just have the camera panned at your character just for like uh, aesthetic reasons for recording a video? Nice to see the ghost is still here. So this is definitely what it would look like. So that's definitely got to be a cutscene. But already walking up the iconic, uh, just not, the, just, You'd pick up on the just iconic in UI. The or taverns. You'd pick over here, we got UI overlay. Find the first clue about the illusions in Haven. Talk to Caravar and head to uh, the Ginseng Metro. And if you look right here, this is mouse and key, baby. They're playing on a computer right now. It's all right here. If you pause and look at this, you could tell they're playing on a computer. So this just is another step forward or another validation that say hey this is going to be a game that you can play on your ipad but when you get home and you're ready to play on your pc with the boys or girls you can come on the streets in the alleys or in taverns things like myths and legends that you'd hear when you just arrive in a new town we want players to piece together the big picture of this era from each of these tales just Love the Iron Banner uh, emblem on the back of that cowl. This is an era prior to Guardians. The path of light is ambiguous and unclear. Ghosts revived people, resurrecting them into light bearers. Yet there were no guides as to what it meant to embody the role of a light bearer and behold. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's cool. I think six is unique because six, uh, like four v four strikes, it's cool or missions or whatever or most of the times in games now even competitive brs it's three so having six and i think online and social gaming is it's easier to find a group now you can join it a discord you can do an lfg group there's a lot of different ways to get involved in a, a group of people uh so i think having more people to have interactions with is better and like look at all these different guns i bet i, I bet you i bet you in this game you're going to be able to choose heroes and then like maybe a primary or secondary gun and I hope, I hope it's going to be a Web3 on the blockchain. Such power. This, this straight up looks like a raid right there. A raid in front. Iconic classes of hunter, titan, and warlock. Wow. The fun part is that this also means that each light bearer in this era has their own unique and independent combat style that players would get to explore and master. That's an rising. Focusing on the individuality of the character. The Maybe I'm wrong on that. Not only visually, but also provide a brand new ways of combat. Here in Destiny Rising, you will encounter familiar faces and, of course, many new legends to discover. With new combat styles and new threats, of course, comes new gameplay. In Destiny Rising, we inherit the classic modes, missions, strikes, six-player PvE. So, he was on a... ...the activities, some of the most iconic of the Destiny franchise. Additionally, Nice. That's what I want to see. This is exactly how I'll be playing. We introduced new gameplay modes Unless that I can play on the PC. fully immerse themselves in this unique science fiction fantasy. In short, this book, I mean, again, I'm not crazy about mobile or any. I'm just not a mobile gamer. Maybe I'll buy one of those devices that like you saw right there where you slip your, your phone controller in between and it's got like a controller Let's there. A controller. I may do that just to, just to try this, controller. but I'm just not crazy about mobile. At the same time, how the hell is this game playing on mobile? If we're going to have six player strikes, and I mean, I'm just curious, what's the ad density going to be like? How is it going to pull that off? 15 FPS. I'm curious what the frame count is going to be on it. 
This is looking It'll probably like be 30 or 60. Me. Yeah, but they're saying it's not gotcha. They're saying it's not gotcha. Yeah, they're gonna have to figure out. A, I mean, like, I'm just curious. How are they gonna make money? What is the monetization here? Destiny Rising is the perfect on ramp into the Destiny universe. Whether or not the player is familiar with the franchise, the game features a ton of brand new weapons from normal drops all the way up to the exotic tier. Oh my god, dude. Sweet business? Is that sweet business? Is that what is that what Cross is about to say? All the way up to exact. That's literally sweet business, guys. They're giving us motherfuckers. Real recognized, real there. motherfuckers. With an already massive pool of <laughs> weapons to choose from. We're excited to build on top of that and introduce a whole new weapon rarity class called Mystic, and an entirely new weapon type. Many. <laughs> this mobile game is gonna get all of this before Destiny. <laughs> And probably before GT6. Tools were lost to the dark. What the age. fuck? But Destiny Rising. Yeah, this is lit. The... What? This is lit. Like asking for a new rarity type. <laughs> Destiny now for fucking literally fucking years. No, it says right here called Mythic. He said Mystic. I'm assuming this is the correct, the, the correct term, Mythic. Dude, I need some of these netties boys to come cook for us sometimes. You know. Maybe Destiny and Rising is a test for possible things in Destiny 2. Nope. It honestly, like, looking at all the people that are in this, like, this Vidoc, guys, this seems completely separate from Bungie. Like, this seems like something that's completely... I'm sure, like, Bungie had people that were there to, you know, essentially, like, give some direction on, like, where to go narratively. But this seems like completely in-house developed netties. And, and so completely separate. This does not look has... like anything that Bungie themselves have been working on. This looks like purely what NetEase has been working on. No, I don't know. I mean, it just depends on the split. Depends on the split. Is there a world in which Destiny Rising becomes more popular than Destiny 2? Maybe. That would be weird. This is more money for Bungie, though. All I know is I would love to see Mythic Rarity gear in Destiny 2. Early new weapon type. Many jewels were lost to the Dark Age. But Destiny Rising will bring them back to light. Sit tight. You'll see them soon enough. So far, all the gameplay footage we've shown in our trailer and this direct video came from actual in-game capture. And although we are still quite early in our development phase, we want you to get hands-on with Destiny Rising as soon as possible. We can't wait to show you... This kind of looks like it's built on Unreal Engine, and if so, it's unreal on how flexible Unreal Engine is. Do all the fun stuff we have planned. To help us reach our goal of creating the best mobile destiny experience possible. <laughs> Cross is pissed. Look at him. Look at him. I'm excited to announce that our first closed alpha test oh, kicks love off. I'm sorry, Cross, man. That's funny. In Canada. If you're interested, hey, click the link below you, to pre-register and sign up for a chance to take part in our first closed alpha test. And it's a new type of content or challenge you. It'll make you to better. Share our story within a franchise that so many players love. We are dying to know what you think about the game. For more info about our upcoming closed alpha test, come join us in our official Discord and make sure to keep tabs on our community channel for the latest news. We hope to see you all soon. All right, man. Look, dude, the game might actually cook. I'm not a mobile gamer. I hear mobile's much bigger overseas, and everyone loved over there likes mobile gaming. It could be huge. Yeah, but you, huge. you have to make it cross-play cross or, like, cross-platform. You know, the mobile, you know, everybody's got a phone, really. I, I personally, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of mobile. However, I probably, I'm probably going to play this game. If there's a way we can get it on PC or, like, you know, uh, totally. Blue stacks, emulator, something like that. I put 100 a hundred bucks on it. We'll give it a go. I don't know how much depth is going to be in it, but I mean, if they got different rarities of gear, even beyond exotic, that mythic set of gear, I mean, dude, what are the chances? Cap, what are the chances that we could be saying, hey, we got the day one raid for Destiny 2 dropping next Tuesday, and the week after that, we've got the day one raid dropping for Destiny Rising. What are the chances that actually happens? Is that possible? I don't a know if six you really man want raid that. on a phone? I look, let me just say about this again. I these are these are the netties, folks. I mean, I once more, you look at characters like this and imagine they're all NFTs. Imagine like Yu Gi Oh cards or Pokemon cards. You get to play them as your friends, trade it on a blockchain, have ownership, earn currency, turn that currency into cash. Um, I, I this is all me in the hypothetical world that this is built on the blockchain. There's absolutely zero evidence that it is built on the blockchain. 
other than me just assuming that because it's a better code, because it ha is just, if everything is Web 2 now, everything eventually goes Web 3 because we started at Web 1, right? Web 3 is the future, but eventually it's even going to get past that. Technology isn't going to stop. It's only going to progress. So that's just with off the grid popping off recently as a recording this video. It's a, it's a game built on the chain and doing so much uh, transaction, setting so many records for, for crypto and transactions and everything along those lines. It's only going to be a matter of time before that is the norm. And me thinking all these games that have been cooking for a while are using the chain, especially these Korean based games, mobile based games coming out. I guess you can go back and look at what they've worked on previously to really draw from that. Uh, but again, the big difference between this game and what we currently play, what we currently play right now, we have a Hunter, we have a Titan, we have a Warlock. And they say this is before that. This is going to be a precast or preset pre heroes here, right? That it almost seems like ability is going to be locked to them. Potentially even weapons are going to be locked to them. It may be something like, hey, this character can only use an auto rifle and a grenade launcher or something like that you know what i mean and that's normally how most games do it that's like kind of that, what i'm imagining reset heroes like this person's going to be based around like swift movement maybe going camouflage and using the bow and arrow and like focusing on precision whatnot that's right? literally luminark oh my god chat did you see did you see this that's literally luminark right there fucking luminark in destiny mobile do some of these supers though look wild hold up hold up i honestly did some of this stuff i would actually be kind of down to seeing regular destiny look at that mm -hmm. he's got like this <laughs> Yo, this turned me the fuck up. Who? Her, her. Smash. Can we get a scythe? Can yeah. we get this, Bungie? Smash. I would like... You got fucking Mechamaru from J JJK up in this bitch? I, I would like this. <laughs> Nova Warp. <laughs> of course you would like this. <laughs> I think we would all like this. <gasps> yes, Mommy. Some of the gameplay looks, you know, it definitely looked like a mobile game in some instances, and then others looked a bit better. I just really hope this also game an alpha. comes to PC, too. Like if when we're looking at this, like, aesthetically, you have to realize this is alpha, not even beta yet, right? So this is in a closed alpha test. The, the, a lot of the layers and textures and shit in the refinery and the optimization isn't quite there yet. They could pull a Genshin Impact and do mobile and PC. Again, this is pre-alpha, by the way. This is pre-alpha. It's pre-alpha in-game footage. So, of course, it looks a little a little janked here. The damage numbers look really, really large. Look at that guy. He's got like a like blocking with an arc. So really, it almost looks like a banner, but with arc. They said we can do first or third person, right? Yes. So... Step first and third person almost seems like it's optional. Almost seems like you can go between one or the other. My thing is like, it says we're going to have uh, customizable social spaces. Dude, if I get a freaking player owned house, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it, Bungie. For the love of God, I've been asking for clan owned houses, player owned houses within Destiny for years. If we're literally about to get this in the mobile version first, holy shit. I got the, all these, look at all these areas, yeah? This straight up, this, so I guess this is part of the six man strike or whatever but i mean it looks i mean just look at all of this too you got the freaking sword you got the chick with the scythe you got i forget what her name is but she's already in destiny you had another sword you got a crossbow i mean there's so much you got this guy with the big ass grenade launcher i bet he only shoots this heavy like this looks like a I, I, this looks like a pure robot i don't know what the hell is going on here with the little like creature on its head looks this looks like a raid intro and that's icora it looks like that's icora, icora right? thank you with a boy I don't know. My thing is, how are, how are you going to make money? What's the monetization look like? It's free, but what's the monetization? So this is the announcement trailer. I hope a marketplace, an in-game marketplace where you could trade amongst your friends. Free alpha mobile in-game capture. That was a cool looking hive boss. I mean, this looks good right here. First person view. Looks good. It looks like a Destiny trailer, actually. Okay, it's a duo. You can always <laughs> do two. That's straight up a strike in Destiny. Oh, three. There's the oh third. Oh my god, look at that ability. Straight up got an ability to drop a, a freaking like Sidon's barricade, but it's art. This dude right here. Look at this. Oh my god. That was dope. I will say that is dope. As I was saying, some of these supers we need in Destiny. Crazy shotgun. 
sniper. You'll notice the I don't know why you're shooting the throw. a little bit different. It's almost it's almost gotten like a like a uh, almost like a borderland vibe to it a little bit. I mean, not completely, but you notice that with see the shotgun scene right here, like right here. You notice that, guys? Look at look at the arsenal. I don't know. It still looks it looks good. It's just it's slightly different than what we have in Destiny right now. If you're looking at this and you're like, okay, why do you not land the crit shot? He's on mobile. Keep that in mind. That's what I'm saying. That's why I don't like playing mobile. I'm gonna sit there with my damn fingers trying to land a, a headshot. You're never gonna see a headshot in your life. That is unfair criticism. You can get a controller or play this on the PC. Pretty positive you can play this on the PC. So dramatic, dude. So dramatic, dude. That's cool as fuck. Dude, dude, she's got, she's got blink. She's got like Nova Warp blink. She's she got, got like Naruto these sage damn balls. Nova balls around her and she, with the sight, and she's TPing everywhere. Ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Then whatever Boy, that gun fucking is. launcher, shooting wraith bullets like it's fucking Halo, like you're shooting a cannon at a, a Halo the wraith. I'm sure you're gonna have different level what? heroes too, different level guardians. You're gonna have like basic guardians, green, blue, and then we all have the way sexy up to mythic. Speaker right here. Oh yeah. You got me, guys. You got me, man. I. I can't believe this is all gonna somehow work on mobile devices. Oh. And I want to say, let him cook. I was not a believer, but now by the end of this, I'm a fucking believer. Although I'm not super familiar with mobile, we'll be registering for it and asking around. Let me. Can I get a poll right now, Chat? Can we get a poll? Are any of you interested in playing this game? I will say this: my interest is about. I'm, I'm pretty much just flat, kinda. I mean, it looks cool. If they come out and say PC launching as well ah uh, damn all right then okay now we're cooking maybe i can still get it to work for pc i saw when we froze that or we took a we was frozen and looked at the ui and whatnot we could see that there was keyboard keys to it so it makes me think that it's going to be playable on pc right now we've got a poll 69 percent say yes they are interested in destiny rising 31 percent say no okay oh there's an faq on discord all right, so this is a bit blurry. FAQ, when will the Destiny Rising close alpha test begin and how long will it last for? The first Destiny Rising close alpha test, or DRCA, is scheduled to begin November the 1st, 2024. Stay tuned to our social channels for any updates. Which regions will be available to participate in the next Destiny Rising close alpha test? Currently, the first Destiny Rising close alpha test is attended only for oh. USA and Canada regions. Really? Wow. Okay, I figured they would do it in, in China. Okay. Yeah, How do I literally. participate in the next Destiny Rising close alpha test? We will randomly select players from the pool of pre registrants who meet the criteria for this test. Be sure to pre register to stay updated with the latest news about Destiny Rising and to have the chance to participate in future testing right, opportunities. Will, will Destiny register. Rising be able to run on my mobile device? Destiny Rising will be available for iOS and Android. We recommend Snapdragon 845 or newer the best performance on Android devices, iPhone 8 or newer for iOS. So it is wow. iOS. The complete list, please check our recommended specs section. We attach to the end of the ball. Where do I reach out for help if I encounter issues from Destiny Rising Close Alpha? The best place to look for is, is in the Discord. Will there be a, be more pre-release pre tests of Destiny Rising in the future? We may potentially run further public testing in the future if needed prior to launch. Make sure to pre-register to stay informed and have the chance to participate in future testing opportunities. Will progress from Destiny Rising Closed Alpha Test carry over into the final game? Progress from Destiny Rising Closed Alpha Test will not carry directly over into the final launch version. That makes sense. Will the Destiny Rising Closed Alpha Test support a controller peripheral on iOS and Android? The Destiny Rising Closed Alpha Test will support third-party control Woo! peripherals, and we recommend that option for players looking to maximize shooting and gameplay precision. All right. Does yep. this work on the iPad, too? Can I get an iPad? Set of it course up? it does. Can I just get a giant iPad, set up the iPad, yes. run an HDMI cable into it, have it feed into the capture cord, subsequently have a controller hooked up to it, and just play it like uh, yes. Destiny? Could we just play it like Destiny? Yes. What content will be available in Destiny Rising Close Alpha Test? A good part of the main campaign may, campaign will be available. iPad along Pro. With at there least one map for all I have a 2017 so players one. can experience a variety no. of gameplay. Our primary focus for this Close Alpha Test is optimizing our core Maybe PvE experiences and making sure we home, home in on the fun. That said, 
this is still an early build of the game and much of it is still meant to change over time including the monetization systems interesting now recommended specs android device snapdragon okay ipad okay ipad eight generation ipad pro ipad pro 10 and a half inch or newer 11 inch i don't even know the different ipads to be honest with you <laughs> ipad mini ipad air your um, ipad works all iPad. trust how big will it be i don't know guys pause i don't know how big it's gonna be depends how, on the person how much i don't know i look man here's the thing i'm gonna give it a go but i'm still it's still a mobile game dude I'm yeah still no. not a, i'm just not a mobile game we're gonna give it a go mainly just to see like what's the i bet you the consensus on mobile gaming by this time next year is gonna be very very